with the session. It is actually a Microsoft Cloud, but before coming to this particular slide, okay, let me brief you up what uh, I'm showing you right now. Uh, below this stack, you will see infrastructure services at the bottom. Infrastructure services, as I told you, it is completely abstracted from you. So you do not need to worry about the servers and when the VM will go down, what will happen, because it is all been monitored by the Microsoft data centers itself. So you really do not need to worry about infrastructure. It is completely abstracted from the users. Now, uh, here comes a platform as services. Okay, you can see this stack is big broader in comparison to other stacks. So here you will find various services. Okay, there is SQL Azure, there is Windows Azure Platform App Fabric, then there is Live Services, SharePoint Services, uh, Dynamic CRM Services. Okay, various kind of services running. Okay, now Platform as Service we actually use in case uh, if you want to develop your own soft, your own application. Okay, now with Platform you can. Uh, very easily make it out and I'm using the word platform that means it provides you something so that you can develop your own application so it provides you Windows Azure SDK software development kit and which contains various APIs classes interfaces using which you can develop your Windows Azure application just above this platform services you will find software as services now software as services it is in a business model uh, it actually provides access to application softwares and the databases okay and cloud providers they manage the infrastructure and platforms on which your application is running and SaaS we can say it is uh, more like on-demand software okay and it is usually priced on paper uh, use spaces, paper use spaces. So SaaS actually provides uh, generally uh, price applications using a subscription fee. So this is actually a fundamental whenever you want to access anything in cloud you need to have a subscription and based on it you will be charged. Now SaaS it also allows uh, the business um, to reduce their IT operational cost by outsourcing hardware and software maintenance and support to the cloud provider because they really do not need to worry about anything related to infrastructure so as I told you one key feature or one key reason why you want to migrate to cloud is apart from scalability and high availability is also the uh, cost uh, a reduction in operational cost where I really do not interested in investing much in infrastructure and it also enables businesses to reallocate IT operations cost away from hardware software spending and um, and other things okay we simply want to reduce that cost related thing and because the applications they are hosted centrally updates can be released um, without the need for users to install new software okay and uh, let me tell you here also uh, you just need to install the uh, update at one location and every user can uh, see that update okay you do not need to go to each and uh, every system to install it uh, the drawback is most of the time people have concern about the security of their data because they are actually going to keep the data or maybe the uh, secure data in clouds uh, cloud provider server so they are there is concern about uh, unauthorized access to, of that data okay whereas there are so many security options available using which you can secure your data so as uh, I, I will explain you more these are some of the software services available in Microsoft or provided by Microsoft like Exchange Online is one SharePoint Online is another uh, software as services Office Communications Online is there dynamic CRM online is there and then top of it is what application services you can uh, call them as applications you can directly use them okay now this slide will give you the complete idea about what I'm talking about on-premises solution IES PaaS and SAS okay now when we talk about uh, on-premises solution okay as I told you this is the existing model 
okay so uh, here we need to take care of everything from this scratch okay now if you look at this stack here it starts from network stack so you need to set up your own servers okay you need to take care of the disk okay which disk you want what server what what uh, configuration you want for uh, for the servers which operating system you want to install what kind of application you are developing based on which you will uh, keep or uh, install the framework that definitely it will provide you runtime then data and application everything you need to manage here okay now come to ies and let me tell you like this cloud computing era uh, for Microsoft, okay, it started uh, in October 2008, okay, around uh, that in 2008 only. And before that, Amazon and Google, they had already entered in cloud computing and they actually uh, entered with IES, okay, that is the, uh, the concept of providing the whole infrastructure as services. Now, when I'm talking about infrastructure, it consists of everything the servers, the network connectivity between them, the load balancer, everything. Okay, so they used to provide the infrastructure as services to their consumers. Now here, if you go with this kind of model here, okay, IES, now you only need to take care of which operating system you want to install. Okay, you can see the highlighted things here of which operating system you want to install and framework, runtime, which data base you want to use and application. So rest of the thing, if you can see the three things in this stack, they are being taken care of by the service provider itself. So let's take the example of Amazon. If they are going to provide you IES, okay now here he will they will be taking care of the networking the servers the disk and everything the connectivity and the virtualization and the um, availability of the servers around the clock so that is their part they will take care of it but regarding anything which operating system you want to install which application you want to keep on the servers this is completely your decision now coming to pass because the session is on pass okay that is platform as service. Now here, you can see uh, rest of the three things, okay, like runtime framework operating system, they are being taken care of by the service provider here. So if I'm taking the example of Windows Azure platform, which is actually a platform as services, now here, apart from the infrastructure, you also really do not need to worry about the operating system, the framework, the runtime, it will all be provided by the service provider. You only need to uh, look around the application you want to create and how you want and which particular storage um, uh, service you want to use for storing your data. Coming to SAS, this is actually an application, it is a software. Okay, now if we uh, discuss in a very general way, so you have servers, okay, so that thing comes under the infrastructure thing, uh, infrastructure as services. Now, on servers you really need operating system, right? So that thing comes in pass, okay, so some, now after installing the operating system, you need to have some software on it. So that thing will be covered in pass. Now, SAS means any application you are providing to your users, you, uh, you can think of a calculator which is actually uh, running as a service in cloud. You can provide it two, three numbers and it will get, uh, return back you the data. So this is what about a SaaS application is. And you can also provide them the um, facility to uh, customize the software solution. Okay, fine. I just wanted to check if everything is fine.
Okay. So where were we? I just wanted to take you back to this particular slide. Now you can make it out easily. So infrastructure as services, it is um, about the infrastructure. Oh, uh, okay. On it, we have platform as services. Okay, so where you can have the SDK so that you can develop your own application. Over it, you have software as service, or you can also say, like in case if you have built your own uh, application, okay, in uh, Windows Azure that you can call it as software as services and over it is normal applications okay so okay now 